Greetings, fellow card athlete. It's today we're talking about how to play cribbage. So let's start. The objective of cribbage, the card game. The game of cribbage is usually played between two players, although it can be modified to bring in more. The objective of the game is to score 121 points before anyone else. The setup of cribbage. The standard deck of 52 cards and a cribbage board, including pegs, are required. The cribbage board is set up with two pegs of each color placed in the zero or resting spot on the board. Deal in cribbage. One, to determine the player who is going to deal first, any of the players pick up the deck and shuffle it. Two, the deck is placed face down on the table and each player cuts the deck. Three, the player who has the lowest card on the bottom of the deck is the first dealer. Four, the deck is reset and the dealer deals six cards to each player. Five, each player looks at their hand and chooses two cards that are removed from the game. Six, these cards are placed face down on one side and they're called cribs. Rules of cribbage card game. One, the deck is then cut again by the non-dealer and the top card of the bottom half known as the starter card is revealed by the dealer. Two, if the starter card is jack, the dealer begins the game with two points. Three, the game begins with the non-dealer playing a card from their hand to a face-up pile in front, followed by the dealer playing their card in the same way. Four, while playing, the total numeric value of each card dealt by both the player should be added up starting from zero and adding the value of each card as it's played. Five, Number cards are worth their face value, and numeric value of kings, queens, and jacks is 10, and the value of ace is 1. 6. The running total should not exceed 31. 7. Players are required to announce the running total while they place their cards. 8. If a player cannot play a card from the hand without keeping the running total under 31, they say go, and the opponent player gets 1 point. 9. If a player plays a card and the running total becomes exactly 31, two points are awarded. 10. After the running total becomes 31, the total resets to zero. 11. The cards that have been played are turned face down and a new round starts with the player who said go. 12. Players continue the game with the remaining cards in their hands. 13. This process repeats until all cards have been played. 14. In a situation where one player runs out of cards before their opponent, the other player continues playing and scoring until all their cards have been played. Scoring in a cribbage. 1. Scores are recorded by moving the pegs on the cribbage board. 2. Each hole on the pig board represents one point. 3. Each player has two pegs. 4. One peg represents the previous score and the other peg represents the current score. 5. To keep track of the score, the farthest back peg is moved in front of the current score peg by the number of points scored. 6. The peg travels down the outside of the board, then travels back on the inside of the board, looping around twice to a track of 120 points. 7. At the end of the rounds, all the played cards are assessed for pegging. 8. The points of cards are counted in the following order, the dealer's hand, non-dealer's hand, then the crib. Nine. The starter card is assumed to be part of both players' hands while counting scores. 10. Points are awarded in the following ways. Firstly, the opponent of the player who says go scores one point. Second, the player who plays the last card in the round that doesn't equal 31 gets one point. Third, the player who plays a card which makes the exact total to 15 or 31 scores two points. Four. If a player plays the same ranked card as the previous played card, they score two points for a pair. Five. If a player plays three matching cards in a row, gets a pair royal, they score six points. Six. If a player plays four matching cards in a row, a double royal pair is scored and they get 12 points. Seven. Playing a card that creates or continues a run of three or more cards of consecutive rank gives you points equal to the number of cards in that run. How to win cribbage. The first player to reach 121 points in the game is declared as the winner. This is it folks, make sure you thoroughly go through each of the rules of cribbage before playing. Share with us your experiences in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.